What is God's first name? That's what we'll be looking at in this video. What is God's first name? Stay tuned. <laughs> So what is God's first name? Let me tell you this little story for a moment. There was once a, a little boy sitting in a Sunday school class. And the teacher, a young lady, she asked the class, so what is God's name? Who does God call himself? And the little boy put his hand up. He said, miss, miss. And she says, yes, Johnny. And he said, God's name is Harold. And the woman and the young girl looked at him and said, why, Harold, why do you say that his, his name is Harold? And the young fellow says, well, in church, we always pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, Harold be thy name. So that's the name of God. First name of God, Harold, if you just wondered. <laughs> that's just a little joke on the side. But it's interesting, you know, whether we read, when we read through the Bible like this, whether it's the New Testament or the Old Testament in English, it's always the word God, G-O-D. But in the Hebrew and in the Greek, in the way in which it was originally written, there's no mention of the English word G-O-D, God, as such. If I was to say to you, dog, D-O-G, you instantly have an image in your mind, depending on the dogs that perhaps you've owned in the past or the ones maybe you're a little bit scared of or whatever, or the neighbor's got one, it could be a Pomeranian, it could be a, it could be a Greyhound or something like that, I don't know. Dog's pretty vague. But if I say to you, Pitbull or Alsatian, then instantly you have an image on your mind of a particular looking type of dog and their temperament and their character and what they do, how they react and what sort of thing, what you have to do to look after them. And it's, it's the same with God. When we say God, it's very... It's, it's, it's a vague sort of a term. You can think of, well, God is this, but he doesn't really love me. Well, God is this, and he doesn't supply all of our needs. Or God is this, but he doesn't heal. You know, God's very, it can be dependent upon your understanding and your experience as to who God is, as to what that word means in the Bible. But if we look in the Hebrew, there's a whole bunch of words, names for God, which we'll cover in future videos. Words like Elohim, which is God is our creator, the powerful and mighty one, the Lord of Lords. He is the most high God, strong and mighty, Elohim. He could be called, he is called El Shaddai, the all-sufficient one. He has power and provision. And then when Moses was, well, God spoke to Moses and he said, I want you to go to Egypt and to bring my people out. And Moses says, well, who are you? Who, who do I say sent me? And God said to him, I am that I am. And, Mo, and um, that was the name, I am that I am. I never change. I'm the same yesterday, today and forever. And Jesus picked that up when they asked him who he was. And he says, I am. I am the same. I am the same God that was in the Old Testament, in the New Testament. I am linked with my Father God. You know, it's only been the last few hundred years that people have started using Christian names or first names with surnames. Like my name, Stephen Fugler. My father was Roy Fugler. We have a first name and we have a surname. But in the past, you could have somebody like John the carpenter, or Bill, the Wainwright, the wheelwright, or something like that. It was based on their occupation and what they did and things like that. In the Bible, it's all the way through it. For example, all the way through the Old Testament, it is, it is things like, um, you know, David, the son of, of Jesse. In the New Testament, it is Simon, son of Jonah in Matthew 16. It was always the son of somebody the son of somebody. So I, I would be called Stephen, son of Roy. And then there were times when the people were named after their tribes, Aaron, the Levite, in Exodus 4, or their hometown. We have Paul of Tarsus. And even Jesus was called Jesus of Nazareth. 
And then finally, there was the occupations, whatever occupation they were doing. We had Simon the Tanner in Acts 10, or Matthew the Tax Collector. And so there were no surnames as such in the Old Testament. And so, but there were they were their first names or their names that people gave to them because of significance. And then they linked it to their occupation, their home, their place, their parents, or whatever it may be. So having a first name is relatively a new or modern idea over the last few hundred years. And, um, but if you wanted to, you could bring it in today's vernacular, I guess, if you like. If you look at some of the, um, the pop stars or the, the celebrities that we have today, people like Eminem. He was called Marshall Bruce Mavis III when he was born. Bono, he was an Irish musician who he was called Paul David Hewson. And then we have people like Sting out of the band The Police. And he was born Gordon Matthew Thomas Sumner at birth. So we can call God, G-O-D, in today's English, but a bit like these Celebrities, if you roll back what their, what their sort of name is, you can see, well, that's what they were born with. That's who they are. But if we look at God, we can pull back the curtain, the word God, pull back the curtain, and we can see that he is actually El Shaddai, Elohim. He is I Am. He is Jehovah, etc. We get a greater understanding of um, of, of, of who he is and how we relate to him. So instead of perhaps looking at what is God's first name, which we covered at the beginning, Harold, it would be far better spending our time perhaps looking at what are the names of God? Who is he called within the Bible? What do these names mean and how do they affect my relationship, my faith in him and how I relate to him and believe him? And trust him in my life. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, God bless.